mate, it's a bit of a relief to get back on an AFL list. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's been waiting a while and I'm just glad it happened. A few nervous moments when you get overlooked in the national group? Yeah, I was um, pretty upset, but um, you know, I was focused on, kept training and the manager said that it will come, so it will come. It's been sort of well documented that you wanted to come home and you're pretty keen to get back and play for a WA club. Um, you must be pretty happy to end up here. Yeah, stoked. Uh, spoke to him a couple of times, but um, yeah, no, it's uh, good to be here with great coaches and um, leaders around the club. You decided to train by yourself. And you got invited to train with West Coast, but you decided to maybe get yourself right back in your hometown. Um, obviously, that, that's paid off for you. Yeah, no, I um, had a personal trainer, and uh, he helped me with uh, what I needed to to help with. And, um, yeah, no, you done me good. In terms of, so in terms of getting your body right, and obviously. Uh, you're back living in the state you want to live at. You, you, you're in a pretty good place, so to speak, now. Yeah, um, yeah, just ha happy to be at the West Coast Eagles and um, can't wait to hit the ground running. Was it a, a tough decision to nominate for the national draft knowing there was no guarantee you'd stay here at WA? Yeah, it was, uh, it was very tough, but um, yeah, I'd, I wanted to play AFL footy and that's what I had, that's what I had to do. Take us through your mindset. I mean, obviously, homesick, homesick, but uh, just was it a bit tough for you just making that decision to come back and well, not tough to come back, but just take us through what it was like. Yeah, it was. Um, I spoke to my manager a lot and my family, and um, yeah, I uh, thought it was better for me to come home, um, not knowing that I might not play AFL footy again or play AFL footy at all. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, paid out in the end. How far is the drive from Dongaroo to here? Uh, it's about four hours north. Yeah. So it's close enough at least to get home when you, when you need to. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> As a player, what do you think you can bring to the team? Um, uh, probably uh, speed and uh, clean skills. A bit like uh, based my game around um, Mike Lacra, just a high half forward with a good running capacity. Talk us through your experiences at GWS as well. Obviously, tough being across there, but um, what was it like? It was, um, oh, it was, uh, they gave me a great opportunity over there. Um, yeah, but it uh, just wasn't for me. You know, a bit homesick. And um, yeah, I just wanted to be home playing footy in WA. Go back and play for the Dens? Uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been training with them the last couple of weeks with uh, Damien McMahon. And um, yeah, I'll, I think I'll go play with them. You said you did some work with a personal trainer. What did you feel you needed to work on when you came back? Um, just my uh, long running, gut running and that. A um, lot of, yeah, just 3K time trials and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, they uh, definitely improved and um, yeah, can't wait to start training with West Coast. So there was a lot of uh, slogging in and around your old time there with the trainer on your back? Uh, yeah, it was um, yeah, a lot in... A lot of training in Donga, yeah, hot days down there.